young lady deal with someone who keeps repeatedly talking about something he knows nothing about. First bearing, you say, well, there are only two genders. Oh, well, what about intersex? You do know that's in your scientific community thing. And, oh, did I mention you have a science award? Do, do you have a science award? Did you do so well in science class that they presented you with an award on biology? No? Oh, okay. Again, point to facts. Please, I want to hear your facts. I have paperwork to back mine up. Do, do you? No? Oh, okay. And yes, someone can transition for no to female. And no, that's not the same as the race thing. I don't know why you would bring that up and put the two together. Unless it's because it's your friend Whoopi said the same thing. So, super liberal nut job Whoopi Goldberg, and you are the people that agree on something. Good to know. First off, I have to agree with Riley Guinness on something. That's just disturbing in of itself. So don't misgender people just because they hurt your feces. Yes, Barry, you have feces. Because you keep whining and going on about it, not knowing shit. Over and over again, thinking you're smart. And usually you know things. But today, I'm just embarrassed for you. Yes, I'm embarrassed for the bearing. Because that was just sad and pathetic. You can transition. You can change such things. And if it bothers you so much that you can't, people call them by their proper genders, then call them by their names. And if that's too difficult for you to do, then please go call into a little hole. Pretend it's 1884. Join the Amish community and go have yourself a wife and grow a little beard and whatnot. Sorry that time marched on and left you in the past. Until that game I'm playing, I'm Republican myself. I'm just not over the top a hole like you appear to be, likely. And no, uh, you don't have to date anybody you don't want to. You don't want to date me or another trans woman. Well, fine, don't. That's what the taste is called. However, you're constantly wanting to call someone him because you've had a small. <clears throat> tolerance for anyone being themselves is getting a little sad. And that you make video after video of this arrogant ignorance and stupidity is rather insulting. And if you agree with him, the redneck stupid fuck that you are, then that's your problem. I'm talking general people that are not you. I really don't care. It's just sad that your science you want to quote doesn't agree with you. Because again, intersex. And no one is 100% anything. If you're going to quote something, know what it means first. That would be awesome and different for you. Because I have no problem with one of the base science. Okay. Again. I have a science award. Do you have a science award? No. Oh, okay. Mine's in biology. So, what the fuck? Oh, shit. What the fuck did I pull this thing? So, if you don't even have something to argue with, please don't argue. no actual guidelines of anything except what we do look at Wikipedia or something, which also disagrees with you, so I'm not sure what your damage is there, but I hated this one anyway. <clears throat> yes, I fell with one. Oh well. Anyway.
of these scientists what you're talking about. That you were told in your fourth grade class that something is. Well, hate to burst your little bubble, your little wannabe belief system, but intersex has always been a thing. Look it up. Some people are born with both genitalia. So you are. There are only toad sacks, this thing. And you sit there with your redneck wannabe stuff and bitch and moan that you can call everybody whatever the fuck you want. Can I call you a nimrod? Because you kind of seem like a nimrod. But no, I'm not going to call you a nimrod. Because I'm not going to stoop to such love, even though, oh, I want to at this moment. But you can't really say anything logical in your little situation. Other than you were butt hurt for no reason. You want to debate a fact that you don't actually have. And you want to bring up something completely unrelated to try to make that fit. Someone cannot change their race, but someone can in fact change their gender. Not that race can be told to me anyway, but I am the race I am. I'm just really tired of these videos after videos of you debating shit you know nothing about. Excuse me. You have a handful of knowledge. You have a basic understanding without further following up to make sure you are correct, which you are not. And yes, if science can change it, you can change it. And if you don't like it, well... But that's on you. Just don't be a dick to someone else to change there. Who did in fact change there? And I am trying to calmly, rationally say this, but it's gotten old. Between you and the SJWs, I I don't understand the hard headedness of both of you. The, the foolish belief system that if you just scream shit loud enough without actually knowing what you're talking about, it's going to become a fact. No, no, really no. And I'm not going to put images of you in my video, or what you said in this video. I think you remember well enough, I think I remembered well enough. First rule of debate though, by the way, you have to properly address both sides, and you have failed to do that. Constantly. You constantly say, Well, girl, we're all a tight end gender. Yay, haw! Well, to the fucking you, the whole bounty, or whatever the hell, I don't care. Because there aren't. Science itself has proved you wrong.